raising of copper tube. It is a metal joining process in which two or more metal items are joined together by melting and flowing a filler metal into the joint. The filler metal has a lower melting point than parent metal. Capillary action is the ability of a liquid to flow in narrow spaces without the assistance of or in opposition to external forces like gravity. This is an important aspect in brazing. Hence, to obtain best results, we need to ensure the capillary gap needs to be less than 0.05 mm, that is, 0.1 mm in diameter. Case 1 tubes placed vertically, ring at the top, expanded female tube and facing down. In this case, the male tube is enclosed by the female tube. The brazing ring is placed on top of the female, inside female tube, while the other side is kept as an open end. The torque movement is from up to down. When we start heating, the brazing ring starts to melt and begins to flow down due to gravity. This is a relatively easy position for brazing operation. Case 2. Tubes placed horizontally. When placed horizontally, the brazing ring can be either on the right hand side or left hand side of the female tube. The torch movement should be sideways as shown in figure. The heat generated will melt the brazing ring and start flowing between the narrow space due to capillary action. This is a relatively harder position for brazing operation than that of the first case. Case 3. Tubes placed vertically, ring at the bottom, expanded female tube below facing open and upward. When the brazing ring is placed at the bottom of the female tube, the torch movement should be from bottom to top. The heat generated will melt the brazing ring and start flowing between the narrow space due to capillary action. This is a relatively difficult position for brazing operation. Thank you for watching.